Janet Frame was born on 28 August 1924 at St. Helens Hospital, Dunedin, to Lottie Clarice Godfrey who had worked as a maid in the Picton home of Catherine Mansfield's family, the Beauchamps, and her husband George Samuel Frame, a railway fireman. After their marriage in Wellington in 1916, their first three children, Myrtle Jean, George, and Janet Patterson, were born in Dunedin. Two further daughters, Isabel May and Phyllis Mary Evelyn June were born as the family moved around with George Frame's railway career. In October 1945, John Money facilitated Frame's committal to the psychiatric ward at Dunedin Public Hospital. She was then committed to Seacliff Mental Hospital, north of Dunedin, in November 1945, diagnosed with incipient schizophrenia. Six weeks later she was released to the care of her parents in Amaru but returned to Dunedin to work as a boarding house maid and to write. During this period, she published her first adult work, a short story called, University Entrance, in the New Zealand Listener. She was also told of her diagnosis as schizophrenic. Money's impending departure to the United States devastated frame. Then her younger sister Isabel drowned in Picton Harbor on 17 February 1947 in a sad reprise of the circumstances that caused Myrtle's death. The two situations produced a crisis for Frame, and she received her first electroconvulsive therapy ECT, treatment at Christchurch's Sunnyside Mental Hospital in 1948. The ECT worsened her symptoms and fears, and led to her recommittal to Seacliff, by her mother, in October of that year. Frame spent much of the next eight years in Seacliff and Auckland's Avondale Hospital, sometimes as a voluntary and sometimes as a committed patient. Treatment consisted of numerous bouts of ECT and insulin, and confinement alternated with probationary periods in the care of her parents. Contact with her parents, and with her brother, who had an ongoing rivalry with her father, have been seen as causes of the symptoms that led to her initial hospitalization. Frame continued to write, and sporadically publish, short fiction and poetry during her time with her parents. In Avondale, Mental Hospital Frame received copies of her first published book, The Lagoon, Stories 1951, which Money had put together for her from her early writing. In her autobiography, she claimed that winning the Hubert Church Memorial Award for the Lagoon in December 1952 persuaded Seacliff's superintendent to forbid a prefrontal lobotomy, for which her mother had signed permission. A further period at Seacliff, from December 1954 to March 1955, was her last stay in hospital in New Zealand, after which she returned to Auckland to live with her sister June Gordon and her family.